Horizon Zero Dawn. I've been playing it, I have, for some time now. I first got it back last year, around November I think it was. I only played it twice and then I moved away from it. But then I came back to it because I always saw it or just thought to myself, I need to do something. And I did it. Hello everyone, welcome to a With You video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Horizon Zero Dawn. And no, we won't be reviewing the Frozen Wilds in this uh, video. That will be a separate With You video. Here's the intro. Horizon Zero Dawn is a beautiful open world game. It's the largest open world game that I've ever played. Now, the story wise is that human life has fallen. But, kind of. You play as this character called Aloy, you do. And your journey is to find out who your mother is and why the world it is how it is. With Robots, machines, and including bad people roaming about. Why does it look like this? I love this game. To the point where, if you wanted to make someone cry, get them to either play this game or listen to the music. Specifically, the Aloy theme. Like, it's emotional, it is. I love this game. So much I do. Frozen Wilds, I will say, is good. But it doesn't live up to something that was the main game. And I will say this though. Horizon Zero Dawn was a test for Guerrilla Games. But now considering it's done well with over 7 point uh, something million copies sold on the PlayStation 4. I feel that they sh should do another one. Now there's been many signs of a Horizon 2 happening. And I do think it could. But when? Well, for an actual release, apparently it took them around about six years to make this game. So, let's say this. If they started planning... So, we could see a game announcement. Maybe in 2019, this could be the start of it. And then we can start speculating every year because... Look, it was never going to happen in 2018. That would be too soon, that would be. But a game release could happen in 2022. Because between 2017 and that year, that's approximately six years. Or 2023, if we're going off from 2018. Now, that kind of actually, to be honest, makes more sense. Either 2022 or 2023 for an actual official release. But an announcement could happen this year. PlayStation Experience hasn't really said to be cancelled or not cancelled. So for the moment, maybe we could just assume that it's still happening. I give Horizon Suradon a 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.